uh, we want to welcome you very much at the IMTEX Summer Academy and we are delighted there are also so many people without a camera here but um, that or some will look it later uh, that so many people are interested in our note reading program and today um, I'm not alone here I'm with my colleague from Thailand with Toffi with <laughs> yes he is there and uh, Toffi Toffi's real name is Poliam Palitpongan Pim <laughs> a difficult name and my American colleague my dear Linda Payet and uh, good afternoon good evening and um, we are in three different time zones Linda is has now very early morning in San Diego and uh, Toffee in Thailand it's evening and I'm in the afternoon so we three found each other <laughs> and uh, we are happy to um, do this lecture with you and Toffee has intensively tested the note reading school together with his Thai colleagues mainly with Fang Kamolmos, Charan, Charan Sok, and uh, Linda, can you show a picture of this, um, of also Fang, Fang uh, and Toffi and many other Thai teachers, they were testing, uh, one before, please, yeah, they were testing uh, <laughs> the uh, the note reading school with about 100 children and uh, this is the title of a, a YouTube video from the test phase and you can find it uh, later we show you also the YouTube uh, playlist where you can find many many uh, videos. Toffi uh, he is there today with us and he wants to say hello also to you. Hello everyone. I am Toffee from Thailand. I'm a co-founder of a music school in Bangkok named VP Music Academy. And we are teaching Suzuki Method. Um, I have tried the note reading school with my students um, with the many steps and in each step focus on rhythm, pitch, and ensemble pieces. The note reading become much easier and more enjoyable for my students to learn. I am very happy and very excited to share some ideas with you today. And this is my first time presenting on Zoom in English. Toffee has mm, worked very hard to pronounce clearly and to find the right words in English. And uh, so that's wonderful and for us all a big adventure. And um, my dear colleague Linda Payet is also here with us. And she is today mainly responsible for the technique. And um, also for the chat during the lecture if you want to write something <laughs> she also tested the note reading school but uh, mainly she helped me to put the uh, the english text into a good language this is something uh, of course not so easy for me but uh, with the help of linda i could um, also start this adventure uh, make a good book in English and she gave me also many many good suggestions for the print version and today here Linda I want to say you thank you very much for all your support thank you dear Linda you're very welcome Kirsten um, I just wanted to also say how much my students love the note reading school and how each new skill has different steps 
and then they're put together. And the book is very appealing to my students. Um, they're always eager because it's so musical and they also really enjoy the treats of um, working up to a small ensemble piece or something with a piano accompaniment, which we're looking forward to showing you today. Um, if you have any questions about the content of this lecture during the lecture, please go ahead and put your questions in the chat. And at the end of the lecture, we'll take some time to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. And Kirsten, I'm going to send it back to you. Yes, thank you. And when we say so much uh, and so often thank you, I should not forget two um, people uh, who were really so helpful for our project. And uh, they have an important part of the Note Reading School. And these are the two pianists. Uh, first, um, I want to say um, thank you to Forarat Vatana Sambat, and he arranged and recorded the piano accompaniments for all the rhythm and pitch exercises. And also to David Andrews, the American pianist, with whom I'm working already since more than 20 years together, he played all the recordings for, of my publications. And here he arranged and recorded some piano parts of several ensemble pieces for the note reading school. Without these two excellent pianists and arrangers, the note reading school would not have become such a helpful project for teaching. The mother tongue method developed by Shinichi Suzuki is a very effective and highly structured teaching method that puts the focus on the possibilities of the children and their musical and personal developments. In contrast to the violin method, there is really no systematic approach by Suzuki to, uh, to the learning of reading music. This is something uh, what is really missing. And as a result, the level of note reading of the students is often quite at a very low level. And Suzuki himself left this task entirely to the parents during the first years of the lessons. He wrote this book here, what you see, um, mainly for the parents. They should first learn how notation works and where to find the notes on the violin, the parents, <laughs> in order to be able and to help their children practice at home. This attitude changed over the years especially among the American Suzuki teachers who were very interested that their students could play also in school orchestras or chamber music groups at a young age. And over the last 20 years, several new note reading materials have been produced. But many of my colleagues have not found them very helpful in the long term. Most of the note reading books do not have a holistic music approach. They are more or less based on intellectual learning. Especially my American colleagues have asked me intensively to develop new materials with a musical approach for the beginning of note reading. That's why I decided to work on the project Note Reading School. The, the exercises are never taught on a purely intellectual level. They are directed at 
different learning types and are based on musical elements and experiences that the children are able to follow. The Note Reading School was published last year, but the extensive video tutorials, mainly done by Toffee and Fang, for the students, parents and teachers, as well as the piano accompaniments for all rhythm and pitch exercises, were only completed this year. This year, <laughs> excuse me. Some of the videos were ready only one week ago from now. So it's really brand new, uh, many parts. We all know how short individual lesson time is and how much important content needs to be worked on during this time. Note reading and te technical exercises together should not take up more than a third of the lesson time. The other two thirds should be used for the new piece and the review pieces. Today we want to give you many practical ideas for everyday teaching in private and group lessons. The note reading school is divided in 22 steps. In each step you find rhythm exercises, pitch exercises and ensemble pieces. Each of these three fields is shown along with many practice suggestions and worksheets. All exercises and ensemble pieces are suitable for individual and group lessons. Let's start with the rhythm and the pitch exercises of the first step. Today, Toffee will show us many examples of how these exercises can be practiced. It is extremely helpful that these exercises are combined with piano accompaniments. The rhythm exercises can be performed with percussion instruments, chanting and clapping. Teachers can use their preferred counting system on these exercises, like Kodai, Eastman, Gordon and so on. Toffee will show us several possibilities. Most of the test teachers um, used in Thailand uh, a rhythm syllabus based on the Kodai system. Please continue to use your rhythm and pitch systems when you like to work with this book that you are usually working with your students. But now let's start with Toffee. He will demonstrate the exercises of step number one. I would like to share some ideas of how we could do with the rhythm and pitch of this step number one and going on to next and every step. In rhythm, we could learn from easy movement, for example, like clapping or easy to find percussion instrument or tools in your classroom, like these two pencils or the magic violin with the magic ball that can show the rhythm perfectly. While doing the movement, I would suggest students to also speak the rhythm. It would be some nonsense syllable or ta ta ti ti ta o like in Kodai, or it could be counting the beat like one, two, three, four, like this. Next, I would like you to, I would like to invite you all to clap with me. When we do the quarter note, we do just the normal size as you like. 
and then when we do the eighth note, we go smaller. And then if we do the half note, we need more space. So we do the bigger circle. And you can see that I keep moving the hands all the time. That's for the children to sense the note values in their body, in their hands too. Also, let's try to speak now the system of ta ta for the quarter notes and ta o for the half note. I have the rhythm of the step one just right above me. Let's clap and speak together. One, two, ready, go. Ta 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 o ta 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 o thank you and then for the pitch exercise the student who speak or sing the note name in any system you can use a b c d e or solfege like do re mi fa so or even they sing the pitch in la 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 while singing they also could point at the music to follow and practice the reading or show the pitch level in this way from lower and higher we have put together a video tutorial playlist where you can find many different practice possibilities from all three categories rhythm pitch and ensemble pieces you can find these video tutorials on youtube and online media library and here is an example for the first pitch exercise Ready, go. Re, 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 re. Mi, 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 mi. Re, re, mi, mi. Re, mi, re, re. Ready, go. Re, 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 re. Mi, 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 mi. Re, re, mi. In the rhythm part of the step 10, I would like to show you how could we do the rest. For example, if we are clapping or performing the rhythm, we could just stop the movement and then go on to keep the light and phrases going on. As you will see soon in the next video, so we can we could just do ta ta stop and ta going on in this way but for small children or beginners i would suggest to put the hand to the side during the rest so both the eighth rest and also the quarter rest in this way they have the system and they really feel the rest in the hands and when they are reading Let's practice the first and the third line that have rest together. Can I have the PDF one more time for everyone? Yeah, let's do the first line together. A bit slower. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, ti, rest, ti, ta, ta. Thank you. And now we do the last line before I continue to the video. One, two, ready, go. 
ชาเรสทิชาชาชาเรสชาชา This is much more clear for younger students. Now, please enjoy the video from students of BP Music Academy. Ready, go. Ta ti ti ta ta ti ti mm ti ta 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 oh ta ta ti 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 ta 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 mm ti ta 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 ch ta ta. Next will be the pitch exercise for the step 10. I would like to explain a little bit of the dice game. At the end of the book, you will find three dice games for three categories. Rhythm, pitch, and ensemble piece. At the end of the book, you can use the dice game as the steps to your teaching because they are start from easier and going more difficult and more difficult. Or you can use them as a game and randomly pick an exercise for your student. Now I pick the dice number two. Say the note name with rhythm. So let's do it in solfege and clap the steady beat together. One, two, three, four. Pa pa mi mi re 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 fa fa re fa mi mi re re. And now let's move on to the ensemble piece of this step ten. Children could learn that part in the very small step. They learn the rhythm first, then we could add the pitches later. Let's do two lines of the first violin part of the beautiful duet. With dice game number one, we only chant and clap the rhythm. One, two, ready, go! Tit 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 ta. Ti 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 ta oh ti 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 ta ti 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 ta oh thank you and now enjoy the video of students from Um Ari Music School. Thank you, dear Toffee, for all these clear demonstrations. I'm happy that you could explain us 
many good points. And now I would like to talk to you about the online teaching tools. Let's start with the audio files. In the media library, you will find all the piano accompaniments for all rhythm and all pitch exercises. The audio files are really helpful because they are structured as follows. The rhythm exercises have a two-measure introduction. This means that the children can already feel the basic pulse during the intro introduction. The piano accompaniment also helps to keep the tempo constant. All exercises are very short and to the point. Together, all three rhythm exercises are only one minute long. These short exercises with piano accompaniment are great fun for the children and encourage them to move along, for example, how Toffee showed us. There are many other practice variations which we will show you later in the lecture. The pitch exercises have a one-measure introduction. The first measure that the children will sing is already played by the piano as an introduction. This means that careful listening to the introduction is already the first teaching point for the children because then they have to sing the correct notes of the introduction confidently on their own. We sing all pitch exercises with steady quarter notes. This means we do not mix rhythm and pitch. It is fun to sing along with the piano accompaniments. Also, the pitch exercises are very short and sweet. Altogether, they are only one minute long. In the online media library, you will find for each step an audio file with all six exercises, one after the other, three rhythm exercises and three pitch exercises. The entire exercise package takes less than two minutes. The fast sequence of the six exercises is an another, uh, is an another important learning step because it helps to further strengthen and deepen the learning process. This exercise package is perfect for individual and group lesson as well as for practicing at home. And uh, on YouTube, there is another online support. In the playlist, you will find 19 videos with all the key exercises. Um, uh, you have already seen some of them during the lecture today. Here, students, parents and teachers will find many good suggestions on how to use the note reading school. And now I invite you all to watch a video. Or oh, no, before the video, Toffee will explain us something concerning this exercise. Next will be on the step 17. We are moving on to this uh, rhythm canon again, but the new one. Try to do the new system of speaking and counting the beat in the bar and clapping. So when you have the quarter note, you just saying the number like one, two, three, four. And when you have the eighth note, you say one and two and three and and when you have the half note, so do bigger circle and then you count through the note values. Like one, two, three, four. 
So let's practice this rhythm canon together once and then we enjoy the next video. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, 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 and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now, let's watch the video, and you can practice doing this with the video. Next, we move on to the pitch exercise of the same step. So in this step 17, is the first step that the children will practice to read on G string. So it might feel not so comfortable and a bit difficult and a bit slower, but through the practice, they will get much and much faster. So I will pick the fun one. So let's sing together the pitch and we cut the steady beat. Hooray. Let's do this three. One, two, three, four. Re, re, do, do, si, 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 la, si, do, la, so, 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 so. And now please enjoy the video of Stephen from Um Ari School. Linda, could, could you show also the video number five, the pitch exercise? 
This was already the ensemble. And the previous video was the ensemble piece already. And if you recognize, Kerstin made a very nice connection between the pitch exercise to the ensemble piece. Can I have the next PDF, please? So, in the same way, the children could learn from much easier step. So I will pick the dice game now that we do the magic violin and magic bow together and only say the note name without singing but then do the correct uh, rhythm movement from the bow let's start from the second line that have the first violin part let's do together one two ready go re do si La si do la so. In this way, students learn to get used to the rhythm first, and then the pitches, they already get familiar from the pitch exercise, and I think it's much easier to do in this ensemble piece. Thank you, dear Toffee. And now um, we have seen all three elements of the step 17. The rhythm canon, then the pitch exercise where the children were singing, and the ensemble piece. And now I want also to show you that the children are not just learning the notes, but also bowing notation and musical symbols. Uh, this Le this is all learned in connection with the ensemble pieces. And so we have quite a lot of information right from the beginning in many different levels and areas. Thank you, Linda, for the PDF. And here you have seen an overview of what the children are learning during the first volume. In the next video, we listen to a French folk song, an ensemble piece for two violins and with optional piano accompaniment. There are seven pieces with optional piano accompaniments. And this time, uh, it's um, for the children the first time that they learn an upbeat with four eighth notes and mm, like we call it for the children a bow circle. So this all happens in a quite fast tempo and this means that the children should be already quite fluent in reading. But um, here also we have two piano accompaniments for this piece, one is slightly slower and the other one is a little faster and this faster version you will hear now in a moment.
We have seen and covered already the most important areas of the note reading school. Now we would like to show you some additional practice possibilities. Teacher Loon from Bangkok has prepared with his students six small exercises for you. First, we will see th uh, three rhythm exercises and then three pitch exercises. These exercises are partly inspired by the Dalcos method and they are very suitable for group lessons. Among other aspects, the Dalcos method develops ear training and improvisation through rhythmical movements. Yes, I have to say thank you also to teacher Loon who has given us so many good ideas. And now we uh, are looking again in the note reading school and uh, we want to, um, I want to show you some of the activity pages or worksheets. This will help the students to further deepen their knowledge in note reading. And here you see two activity pages. Um, on the first page, the children have to count the number of the beats and enter the missing rests in the exercise below. On the second page, the children are practicing the notes on the G-string. Yes, and now we see the next page, two pages, and here it is all about rests and note values. And on the other page, about writing the missing bar lines. On the last pages, or on the last page, the children are asked to write a small composition on the A string. Dear teachers, these are just a few examples 
of the various worksheets in the book. I hope we could give you a good overview of the note reading school and the online tools that go with it. Before I pass on to Linda Pyatt, we'll show you a short video on how to find the Note Reading School in the online media library. Hello, dear teachers and dear parents. I would like to show you how you can use the online media library. It is really easy to navigate. First go to Violent Teaching Material by Level and then you will see all the different volumes here. Let me show you the content of volume Violent to b as an example. At the end you can find all the online material from the note reading school. Number one are the piano accompaniments for all rhythm and pitch exercises. Number two are the piano accompaniments for special duets as PDF and audio files. Number three, video tutorials. Number four, information about the print editions. And number five, this is really brand new, the digital edition as PDF download. The complete 80 page note reading school can be downloaded here by all members of the media library. Dear teachers and dear parents, I hope that I could give you a good idea of how to use the media library. Of course, there really is a lot more to discover. I wish you lots of success with the online media library. So. I am looking at the chat, teachers, and just wondering if anyone has any questions that they'd like to um, unmute themselves and ask if you'd like to use the hand raise icon, um, that would be helpful. Or if you have a question that you'd like to type in the chat, um, we would love to hear from you. Um, if you have feedback or comments on the content of the lecture, um, we'd really strongly like to encourage your participation at this time. Um, and um, I am not seeing any hands or anything in the chat right now, um, but I did want to say um, that when, um, when you look at things like the dice games and all of the wonderful ideas that, um, that Toffee and Fang and the other teachers um, in, at the um, Amari Music School in Thailand have come up with, um, it's wonderful because you can, you have lots of options depending on what your student needs. Some students will need more steps and some students might not need all the steps. And so all of the resources are there um, and included so that um, teachers can make decisions about what their student might need. Um, and this is just a wonderful resource that bridges um, the, the way for students to go from playing by ear towards being able to play in an ensemble or an orchestra when they can read and learn how to listen to other voices at the same time. Let's see. It sounds like um, everyone's just, there's so many wonderful things people are talking about, um, how it's um, so inclusive and step-by-step -step in the chat. I'm also seeing um, that um, some compliments on your incredible job, Toffee, for the first time presenting in English and also um, 
it's it, you've you've just done a tremendous job and Kirsten as well. If I were here um, trying to speak in German, um, I, I would not. I, I would need a lot more work. <laughs> so thank you very much for making this content accessible for those of us who speak English. Um, and it's just been so clear and joyful to watch your students in action. And I have to also to say thank you, dear Linda, for really you know, helping us also for finding sometimes some expressions or um, just for, uh, also when I was writing the school to support with the English. So um, I'm very happy that we as team in the three time zones Melinda very early in the morning and Toffee in the evening, I'm in the middle, in the afternoon, we could work together, really international music teachers exchange, that's wonderful. And perhaps you are um, thinking uh, what is coming next? Um, the after this first volume, of course, there will be a second volume and then there will be all these um, different keys and uh, um, now I need Linda again how to say uh, the uh, sharp and low notes and all these uh, <laughs> accidental notes. Uh, if I prepare my text, I can say better, but um, this in any case is our, uh, for the second volume and much more difficult, um, also ensemble pieces, but very beautiful. Uh, I mm, tested already with some students and um, of course, um, mm, much more difficult rhythms on a higher level and uh, what is also important through this system that these exercises are very short you can uh, do also review in group classes in in some minutes you can go through several levels or several steps and uh, through this the brain of the children needs always to be awake and um, it's for them also uh, a question of quick reaction and that's something which is very helpful for of course sight reading later and here it's only the basic 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 work but in a musical content and i still hear my um, dear colleagues mainly from america they say, uh, told me, uh, it's really for the children and for uh, the teachers very hard to have only this kind of intellectual um, workbooks or mainly uh, that they have to sing like uh, in modern music. Da, da, di, da. So without musical sense or form or um, content, and the same with rhythm. It's only a question for the intellect and not for the musical feeling, for uh, the joy of reading music. It's the joy is not so much there if you have only like uh, mathematic, uh, this kind of work. And so uh, I hope with this direction now, many children and teachers are happier and more successful uh, to learn reading the music. <laughs> Thank you, Kirsten. I'm excited about volume two. And as we all know, um, the violin, um, our fingerboard knowledge is organized into finger patterns. And so um, in volume two, um, as the key signature changes, we can look forward to spotlights on different finger patterns um, and more and more complicated rhythms. Um, so, you know, getting the second finger close to the first finger, getting the third finger next to the fourth finger. Um, 
And so that's super exciting. And also, I just wanted to emphasize another point that was made um, earlier in the lecture, which is that these exercises are so short and so fun that it really allows us time to fit it into a, to a lesson um, without having to spend um, a lot of time hearing a long exercise or an exercise that doesn't make musical sense to the child which would also take a lot more lesson time. So um, this is just a wonderful way to be able to fit in um, the acquisition of that knowledge into a nice um, short lesson for, for our students. Um, I have a question since I'm not seeing any questions in the chat. Um, Kofi, um, can you help us know um, what, what book level are your students when they start um, using the note reading school? I normally watch on the the basic of the posture that they have the strong posture and they have strong intonation and then around that point it would be beginning of book 2A or some could be later in the book 2B or some very fast one could be at the end of the book 1B so it's different Yes, and it depends also on the age. Uh, if we have older beginners, then of course we can start this a little earlier. But first, like Toffee said, the main posture, the main intonation, the, um, the rhythm, the stable pulse must be inside already. And then uh, we can start and uh, I think with older children, I would start perhaps earlier, but with younger children, like Toffee said, um, it's already early in the end of book 1B and 2B is perhaps right, because then we have a good basic. Yes, then I think um, I see also in the chat that uh, they, someone Tonya writes, everything was wonderfully clear and informative. And so I, I'm happy that there are not hundreds of questions because it seems that everyone <laughs> understood very well. And we thank everyone for coming and hope you will enjoy also the note reading school. and. Uh, if someone wants to be a test teacher for volume two, uh, it should be at least a group of, let's say, six, seven, eight children. Um, then I'm very happy. Please write me and I am happy then to, to include you in our test program. Everything um, we do is always tested. and. After the test, there are so many good new little changes and um, yeah, directions. And therefore, I invite everyone who would like <laughs> to be a test teacher, please contact me. And all the best and we stay in contact until next time. And thank you, Toffee, and thank you, Linda. Bye-bye. And thank you, Kirsten. Yeah.